And Candy Cooper has some great tips for knotting beads. I love these. Katie, thanks. You're welcome. I brought along a couple different ideas, but all of them use knotting. And um, the thing I love about knotting is it's this soft um, design element that separates your beads. Right, so traditionally you would do it with pearls, but I love how the way that you did it with these glass beads too, really pretty. Yeah, thanks. Um, so the thing that makes this necklace special is it's interchangeable. You can see I used the lobster clasps and on, on either end of the pendant. And then I found another pendant that has a double loop and I added a couple jump rings so you could easily change it out for a totally nice. different look. Oh, I love convertible jewelry. Yeah, so let's talk about what we need to knot because I'm kind of still new to knotting and I'm having a blast with all the different materials. Um, so you're going to need some silk cord and this comes on a spool. The thing I love about these little packages is there's already a needle attached. But if you have silk that doesn't have um, the needle, you can buy some collapsible needles. Okay. Or collapsible eye needles. And then you'll need your usual findings like a clasp, some jump rings to get started. Okay. So for this one, I've gone along, uh, gone ahead and attached the clasp. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I wanted to jump right into knotting. So here's the thing about the collapsible eye needle. I've gone ahead and threaded the eye. And then when you go to put on a bead, you can see how the eye literally collapses. There you go, right through <laughs> the bead. And yeah, nice Perfect. and easy. And you can, um, the other cool thing is, you know, you can knot anything, gemstones, pearls, um, like the glass polka Any dot type beads. Of beads. You yeah. know what I like about that piece too that you're working on is that you use that kind of garnet color on the beads and the cording, but yeah. on some of your projects you make the cording stand out a little bit more. Right. So it's neat that you can use that technique to change it up. Yeah, this is definitely more camouflage. So I went ahead and made a loop in the silk and all I'm doing is using a needle to drag the knot down next to the bead and that locks your bead in place. And then you just pull the needle out and then I cheat here and use my fingers to cinch up the knot. Okay. Okay, so you can use different, um, you know, other tools to do that. You could use this awl if you have one of those handy or you, there's special tools to use for knotting like this one. So for this one, I've gone ahead and been doing a strand and you start with just a knot here at the end for your first knot. And then you're gonna slide a bead into place then grab the knotted end, make an overhand knot, pull your beads through the center of the loop, and then make sure everybody goes oh, sorry, to into the here? back of the line. Yeah, thank okay. you. Sure. So now we've got our knot here on the um, awl, and you're just gonna pull it up so it's nice and snug, and then you're gonna move this down into the yoke and keep pulling so it's nice and tight. And I like to pull back the opposite direction like so. And then you're gonna just slingshot, kind of, <laughs> like old school pinball machine. That's right. To pull the all out. And now you have a nice knot up next to your bead. Perfect, and so, so it's tight and it's consistent. And that was pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, I know you're being deliberate about it to show us but you could do this pretty quickly. Right, so the, the hardest thing that I find is remembering, I get so excited, I forget to slide a bead into place, so. <laughs> so that's, that's an important that's step. That's literally the hardest part. And so now we put these in the back. Katie, that's your job. Okay. <laughs> Beating with friends. Yeah, exactly. And then just grab that and pull it up nice and snug into the little yoke. Pull and release. Perfect. Yep. How many? Do you want to see it again? Let's do one more. One more. Three times a charm. All right. Bead into place. And cross over. Pull the beads through the loop. And through the back. Take it out. Back up. Slide it down. There you go. And it's really like you can get into a rhythm of pearl knotting, which yeah. is really kind of meditating. I think so too. Mm -hmm. So now you can see I have a pretty little strand all separated um, by cute little knots. Right, and the knots are really uniform and consistent. And right. with knotted jewelry too, one thing that I like is if, if a strand should break for some reason, then you can save your beads. Right, no. yeah. So now let's talk about how to finish the end. There's a lot of different ways to finish the end. Like if you look at this garnet piece, I've just knotted the end 
and taken some precision tip glue and dotted over my knot. Okay. Here, or, I'll get that out of your way. Thank you. You're welcome. Or you can come over here to um, this other, this is another little, I'm hooked on polka dots, um, and use these clamshell tips. And these are special, like specially made for knotting. So here you can see I threaded one on. There's a hole right in the center of the bend. Yeah, and you always want to make sure you go through the hinge por portion. Right, exactly. And then you're going to make another knot. Some people, instead of using a knot, will string a tiny seed bead on first and yeah. then make the knot, which gives you a little bit more bulk. Where's our little needle tool? And then you're going to use this as your slider. Pull that nice and snug and make sure everything's close to the end. Okay. And then remove your needle. And that gives you a nice little knot so that now it's the clamshell tip is stuck on there. It can't go anywhere. Right. Then we're going to trim. And then you would put some adhesive down into that little tip. Yeah. Okay. And then. And you just use jeweler cement for that or some type of stringing yeah. glue. Whatever you have handy. And then before, um, you would just put it on before closing it up. Then use your chain nose pliers to close the clamshell. Okay. And then these have a little hook on the end, and that's so you can attach a ring or whatever, you know, attach it to your closure. So you want to go ahead and finish rolling that up to make the loop. And then now we're ready to grab a finding, a jump ring, and connect our um, little swivel lobster clasp. Oh yes, I like the swivel because then it, you know, it makes it lay really nicely. And part of why people do knotting is because you get such a beautiful drape. I right. Mean, in addition to protecting your beads against loss, you're protecting them from abrasion. It also just really lays beautifully when you knot beads the, together this way. That's a really good point. And I think that's what sort of attract, like I said, I'm new to knotting and I'm like, oh, these beads move around so freely. Right. And you know, as a stringer, like that's really awesome. So here's my plan is like these then can connect to this pendant. Yeah. Or this more funky pen. Or you could switch it out if you wanted to. Right. It's beautiful and Thank it whips you. up really quickly too. Yeah. Let's take a look at your bracelet because this is another idea for how you can use knotting in a slightly different way. Right. This one um, I used, you know, the same color. Those beads are polka dotted. I used the same color of thread just to kind of highlight the bead. Well, thanks. These are some great tips. Thank you, Candy. Thanks.